This is part 23 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to retrieve data from two or more related database tables and display them in a Blazor web application. There are several ways to do this. There is no right or wrong way. Which way you choose really depends on the architecture, complexity and the requirements of your application. At the moment, we are on the employee list component and when we click view on one of the employees, we see the employee details. Within the card header, we see the employee full name that is both the employee first name and last name and in the card body, we have employee ID, email and department ID. All this data at the moment is coming from the underlying employees database table. Now here, department ID doesn't make really any sense to the end user. So what we want to do is display the department name instead. But department name is not present in the employees database table. It's present in a different database table and that is departments. So we want to retrieve data from both the tables, employees and departments and display it here. In our application, it is this employee class that carries the data this employee details Blazor component needs. At the moment, the values for all these properties come from a single table employees. To this class, let's add a new property. The data type is department and the name of the property is also department. The data for this property comes from the department's database table. In Entity Framework terminology, properties like these that get their data from a different database table are called navigation properties. Now, where is this employee object initialized with data? Well, we do that within the employee repository class and that class is present within our API project in the models folder. So let's open that. In this repository class, it is this get employee method that retrieves employee data. As you can see here, at the moment, we are only retrieving employee entity data. In addition to employee entity data, we want to instruct Entity Framework Core to retrieve department entity data as well. And to do that, we simply need to chain a call to include method and then specify a lambda. Employee goes to employee.department. With this, we are basically telling EF Core to include department data as well. At the moment, we are working with just two tables, employees and departments. What if we have more than two tables? Well, we can use the same technique. For example, let's say we have another table, employee skills, and we want to retrieve data from that table as well. For that, chain a call to then include method and then specify another lambda here, employee such that employee.skill. So basically this retrieves data from the employee skills table as well. If we have a fourth table, maybe employee experience table, chain another call to then include and point to the experience table. The point that I'm trying to make is, depending on the number of database tables you have, you can chain as many then include methods as you want. All that is left to do is within our employee details blazor component which is present in the pages folder display department name instead of the department id notice on this employee object we now have department property and on that we have department name we are on the employee list component let's click view we have an exception. Notice the message here, an unhandled exception has occurred. See browser dev tools for details. So let's launch browser developer tools by pressing F12. We have a null reference exception and that's happening within the employee details component. The reason we have this exception is because by the time the employee and department properties are initialized, these expressions are already executed. Remember, we are using async database calls to retrieve data from the database. So we want to make sure these properties, employee and department are populated before these expressions are executed. So let's include an if block here, employee equals null or employee.department equals null. We want to display the loading spinner, else we want to render the employee details component. Notice now when we click the view button, we see the employee details along with the department name. Before we conclude this video, a quick little tip. 
within our application department for an employee is mandatory every employee must have a department so if we take a look at the data within the employees database table notice the department id column every employee has got a department so this null check on the department works for us but what if in your application department is optional this will not work because for a given employee if there is no department this department property will always be null and you'll only see the loading spinner you will never get to see the employee details component rendered in that case you can move this null check to here where we are actually displaying the department name so first let's remove this check and then use a ternary operator here so if employee dot department equals null that means the employee does not have a department so let's display no department or simply na else we want to display the department name notice even now we see the department name without the null reference exception that's it in this video thank you for listening